And every couple of generations, um, the Bible is, the language of the Bible is modernized to make it a, a common language or to keep it a common language. Tell us about your experience, your invitation to make the common language. This is my, um, my Bible that you've written. Are you comfortable being, with that? You've written my Bible that I'm reading? Sounds a little pretentious. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but this is the message, which you spent 10 years of your life doing, at least 10 years, right? 12. 12, to get this done. You took those ancient words, and it was your turn to modernize them. That's right. And what, what did you learn in the process? What I learned was when God wants us to have his word, his revelation, he uses the language that we use every day. And what are the sensitivities then of taking those ancient words and modernizing them? Well, it's difficult um, because people get used to um, a Bible read in church. And, um, and we see one of the things that we have, which is, um, is wonderful, but also a problem, is the King James Version of the Bible. That was translated in England when the English language was at its highest, its best. These are the, this is the time of Shakespeare, of Milton. Um, and so this language became the translation language into English, which was far different from the way it was in Greek. So they, even in that time, it was not the language of the people. It was elevated. This bookshelf is filled with the fruit of Eugene Peterson's efforts to wrestle the elevated language of Christianity's Bible back to what it was intended to be, easily read, easily understood, a book of sacred words inspired by a loving God. It's called The Message. This interview was produced by Listen Up with Lorna Duick, news that takes you deeper. We're on TV, online, and interactive, exploring today's headlines from a Christian perspective. Get a fresh take on the news that shapes our world with more interviews, features, and resources at listenuptv.com slash highlights.